there was never any intent to deceive the system. Portland City Council candidates under the microscope for donating a few bucks to each other in order to unlock thousands of dollars in city funds. The Oregon Secretary of State's office is investigating four city council candidates for donation swapping. All four of them spoke to K2's Barry Mangold to share their side of the story. Barry? Yeah, Deb, this whole situation is unique to Portland because of the small donor program. That allows candidates to unlock $40,000 in city funds if they can get 250 unique donations from Portland residents. And now the state is investigating those four campaigns for helping each other get to that benchmark. More than 100 candidates are running for Portland City offices this November, and earlier in the campaign, some decided to get creative with their fundraising. I think it was August 8th, this email came out and suggested that we all donate to each other to help each other out um, as uh, Portland residents. I think a lot of the candidates we're like, you're a registered voter, I'm a registered voter, we both want to support each other. Candidates Chad Likens, Mike DiNapoli, Sam Sachs, and Michael Trimble are now subjects of an investigation by Oregon Secretary of State's office for donation swapping, which meant giving each other a few dollars in order to help unlock thousands of dollars in public funds through the city's small donor elections matching program. All of them telling K2 they were not trying to game the system. So I thought, yeah, if um, you want to donate to me, I'll donate to you. But there was never an expectation of um, someone reciprocating back. You didn't expect to get any donations back? Because it sounds like that was kind of the deal. No, you know, it's, it's not... It would it be nice? Yeah, I don't. I didn't check up to see if everybody was donating back. It wasn't like I called people and said, "Hey, where's my five dollars?" I will never do it again. I've learned my lesson, you know. All of them adding that city candidates so far have only been supportive of one another since there are twelve open spots up for grabs this November. Whereas in this campaign, we're running with each other because there's three seats per district, so it doesn't feel like a cut to a competition. The level of collaboration isn't something that, you know, should be seen as gaming, but is, you know, maybe something that's healthy and something that's beautiful in Portland. And the Secretary of State's office will ultimately decide if any law was broken by those campaign swapping donations. And the office said that its investigation could grow in terms of number. Just last week, Willamette Week, and the folks there broke this story, and they are reporting that as many as 14 candidates exchanged cash, so, uh, exchanged cash rather, so far in the campaign. And by the way, tonight we did get a statement from Chad Likens' campaign about his involvement. You can read that at KAT. Live in Portland, Barry Mangold, K2 News. Barry, thank you.